want to start off by giving our praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Raqqa Kadesh. Double honors to Apostle Sales, it's a great millstone that taught me this truth. Alright, we just wanted to do a little movie review about the movie Goodbye Uncle Tom. Now, I can't say everything I would want to say about the movie but, um, on YouTube, but give a little comments that it's a good movie. Um, every man is in the truth, definitely should watch. And um, every uh, woman that got the ability to watch it should watch it. But, you know, I know the women are the weaker vessels. And, this one right here might be a little difficult for a woman to watch, but, you know, it's a good movie, and I think about, you know, they get Django, um, 12 Years a Slave, Roots, Amistad, none of that never showed or portrayed slavery the way this movie did, alright, and, um, it's one of a kind. So, I would say check it out. Alright. This is um, Zechariah versus chapter 2, verses 7 through 9. Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwells with the daughter of Babylon. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, After the glory he had he sent me unto the nation which spoiled you. For he had touched you, touched the apple of his eye. For, for behold, I will shake my hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants. And you should know that the Lord of hosts had sent me. So, you know, as letting you know, you know, your house shy is going to free his people from what they put us through. Mm. And this is just... You know, a, a wild movie, and it showed all kind of things. You know, Joel, the um, third chapter, third voice, and they cast lots for my people, and have given a bar for a harlot, and sold a girl for wine, that they may drink. You know, that's you know, off in the movie too. You know, you know, it shows you example. So you know. This movie lets you really see these scriptures, you know, unfold before you. And let's see what else. And, you know, it's just, and, you know, it makes you understand why looking at it, you know, some of the Christians saying about all the slavery that Israel had went through. But, you know, we brought it on ourselves by breaking the Lord's commandments and as it said, you know, when you do a rum, alright, this is, um, Jeremiah, chapter 2, verse 14, is Israel a servant, is he a spoiled, homeborn slave, why is he spoiled, you know, looking at this movie, it does make you wonder, you know, you're seeing it, but then you gotta go back to the fact, we did it to ourselves by not following the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Alright. So, Israel ain't got no one to blame but themselves. Alright. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 7. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. You know, so. You know, that's why the roles are reversed, you know. We are the servants uh, when we should be the princes. And, you know, and that's just what happened. But not keeping the laws of your house. And, you know, that's how you know when people say the laws are done away with. You just look at all the suffering we are doing for breaking the laws. For serving other gods and um, things of that nation. So... How can the law be done away with? Because we are still suffering for not keeping the law even to this day. Alright. 
people don't know that's why the, we in the condition we in. But that's why the, we in the condition we in. This is Amos chapter 9 verses 7 through 8. Are ye not are you not as true of the Ethiopians unto me, or children of Israel? Said the Lord, Have I not not I brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt and the Philistines from Kapil and Syria from Kur? Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Seeing that I would not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, said the Lord. So, you know, that's why the Lord say, you know, it's the sinful kingdom. And why he said, you know, we will destroy it off the face of the earth. And watching this movie, you know, Obadiah verse 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame should cover thee. And thou should be cut off forever. And you know, you really see that shame portrayed in this movie, right? And you know, open down the eighteenth verse, and the house of Jacob should be a should be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they should kindle in them and devour them, and there should be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. And you know, you look at the things they've done, and you can begin to understand you know, why it is written in the Bible, you know, it, it all makes sense. And then, you know, I'm going to end it with um, Revelations, the 13th chapter, verses 9 and 10. All right. If any man have ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity should go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patient and faith of the saints. So, you know, you understand why the Lord is coming back. And, you know, he's going to visit Edom first, as it says in Isaiah 63 and Isaiah 34. You know, he's going for Edom first. And this movie shows what slavery was truly like. And I ain't never seen a movie portray it. In the way that it was truly portrayed, you know, you like um, I know they got um, hammocks playing our parts and not our people, but it still showed, you know, the to know the um what was happening, you know, and um, with that, I'm gonna say shalom.